The waters of Loch Dyden. A lovely sight. By me, Thal, what is it you... Oh, uh, hello. Uh, did Thaddeus send you? Kester Barclay. My apologies. I don't mean to be rude. This crisis has me a bit on edge. It won't likely kill you. Leave you weak as a kitten, eh? Around here, that's as good as dead. We're simple people here. Merchants, tradesmen. I'm not equipped to deal with a threat like this. That boy needs to rest. He's got the cough. Won't listen to me or his own brother. I grew up here. Seems like only yesterday I went to fight in the war. When I got back, I was the toast of the town. Thought I was through with all that fighting. Blood plague, and the boggarts that are spreading all over Glendara. Normally, the things keep to themselves. Looks like some Jotun got into their lair, though. Force the boggarts out. I can't, but Astrid Frisk, our healer, can. That is, when she has the medicine to treat it. We've been running low. More should have arrived this morning. You can ask her about it if you're curious. You're either brave or a fool. But if you could kill the Jotun, perhaps the Boggarts would leave us alone. All right. Travel north to the Boggarts' lair in Coilsbane, and clear out their cave. Our own healer. As you can imagine, she's hardly slept since the outbreak. If you think you can be of any help, you most likely find her in her cottage, tending to the sick. Lumbering brutes. Almost twice as tall as a man and just as wide. Why they came to Glendara is anyone's guess. They just showed up one day. We weren't going to stop them. A single boggart we can handle. But ten? Twenty? It's only a matter of time before the whole town is infected. I can't allow them to run around unchecked, putting all the folks here at risk. Coyle's Bane is a boggart cave just north of town. Well, it used to be, anyway. A while back, some Jotun started digging in the caves. They drove the boggarts out, and right into our town. Don't know what the Jotun were looking for, or if they've found it, and I don't care. I just want them gone. Driving the Jotun from Coils, Ben, would be the best thing you could do for us. Of course, Astrid Frisk could probably use some help as well. Until later, then.
Logris. You surprised me. What are you doing down here? I see my Jotun have failed at their orders. But did Padaxes send you? Lysander, perhaps? Tell me. Those fools have no idea what I'm capable of. Which is obvious if you're all they sent to stop me. You act as though you're surprised to find me here. As if you weren't sent here to stop me. My pursuit. But you're too late. Even now my deathless servants rise from centuries of slumber. It is clear I cannot let you live. But answer me this and I'll grant you a swift death. Which one sent you? Was it Padaxis or Lysander? Fine. Whether you're an agent of the Rose Court or the Onyx Tower, you can take your secret to the grave. My spell commands untold legions. Soon, both of their houses will crumble. You, however, will not live to see their ruin. <laughs> Well, I ain't exactly forthcoming with tasks for you, but I can jaw a bit. What's needed? You're back. Glad to see you made her out of there alive. We felt the earth shake, and when you hadn't returned. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. It's not much after all you've done, but we would like you to have it. More ruins beneath the caverns, you say? I wonder who was there before the Boggarts moved in. Disgusting little fey vermin. We're all glad to be rid of them. I hope that's the last I see of those brutes in Dyden Hill. Or anywhere for that matter. The Boggarts will always trouble Dyden Hill. As long as we can keep a supply of Plague Shield, we'll survive this malady. Until later, then. I hope they have fared well up north in the mission. <laughs> 